Hope everyone's having a great day today. My name is John with Greenlight Property Management, and today we are here at 5304 Roberta Drive in North Richland Hills, Texas. Zip code is 76180. This is a three bedroom, two bathroom home. It's approximately 1,645 square feet. Here is a layout of the front here, as you can see, extended driveway leading up to a two car garage there. Uh, we do plan on pressure washing this, so it is a little dirty. Um, so it should be cleaned off a little bit and you can see here um, nice area here in North Richland Hills um, very very nice uh, right close to pretty much anything and everything uh, the Northeast Mall is not far at all you're close to all major highways 183 820 uh, and 121 um, we're right here in the middle of the Metroplex so uh, Fort Worth is a little bit closer than Dallas, but you're looking, you know, 20 to 30 minutes for either one. So let's go inside and check this place out. Uh, so one thing to mention, uh, we did repaint the inside and we also did replace some, uh, we, we installed new tile, um, which we'll see right when we walk in and they're really good looking. So you'll see when we walk in here, we got the brand new tile. Uh, we pretty much just wanted to match as best as we could with the existing tile that we already had. And you can kind of see here how it flows. All white. So very, very nice. This is what it would look like uh, if you were watching kind of guests enter the home here. Uh, as you see, very welcoming. Uh, you can go pretty much three or four different ways when you first walk in here. So very, very nice. Here to our right, we do have the, this would be the front living room here. Uh, very good size space. And uh, this is actually a vinyl. So very nice space here. Bring us over here to kind of check it out from this angle. And here we have kind of our dining area. Uh, I feel like you could really do a lot with this space uh, just because the space is so big. Um, you could have a really, really big dining table. Um, if you wanted to almost make this like a small, somewhat office space, if you were to put things on the wall, right? Uh, we do have a closet here. So let's check it out from this angle here. So very spacious, and then boom, it flows here right into the kitchen. Uh, as you can see, uh, freshly painted cabinets in here as well. And so really nice kitchen. You can see here on the left side, we have the, the double stove there. We got uh, some burners here. And then on this side here, we have a dishwasher, our stainless steel sink that has a disposal there. I uh, got the nozzle for, you know, cleaning dishes and that sort of thing. So really good space in here uh, in the kitchen. This door goes out to the back kind of patio area, which we'll check out kind of towards the end of the video. And then this door here goes to the garage. So we'll check that out as well towards the end of the video. But let's move on here. We're going to head back through the entry and head down the hallway here. Uh, so as you can see, nice hallway. The tile looks really, really good in here. And we're going to go ahead and check out this hall bathroom here, as you can see. Nice vanity and a mirror there. <clears throat> Some cabinet space here. Mini blinds for privacy. And then we have our tub set up here. Uh, and we do have an exhaust fan in here. Uh, moving on. Uh, we have another closet here. This is for the hallway. Uh, you do have the ability to hang some things and then also just kind of set things down. To our right here, we have the first bedroom. This is bedroom one here. Uh, as you can see, all the bedrooms are going to have carpet. Very good lighting in here. 
I got the double folding doors there for the closet. So very nice space in here. Uh, closet space is uh, pretty average. Nothing too crazy, but the double doors really help make it more accessible and like wider, I guess you could say. Here we have the second bedroom, same exact setup, same exact closet. Uh, the only difference is this just has one bay window, the other has two. So, and we will be switching that light switch there to a new one, so. And then the same closet space here. Alrighty, we're gonna go check out the master. Uh, love the master, nice and spacious, uh, kind of hidden off over here on this side of the house. Uh, and you can see much bigger room in here, more open. Uh, and then we have kind of our closet and bathroom doors there. Closet is a walk-in closet, as you can kind of see here. Very good space in here. Lots of room. Here we have our master bathroom. It is just going to be a standing shower. Uh, no bathtub. Uh, but it is a full bath here. As you can see, very, very nice. Very, very similar to the hall bathroom. All right, so we're gonna check out the garage, check out the back patio, uh, and then we'll check out the backyard. So here we have the garage. Uh, one thing to mention is we only have one door that is automatic. The other door is going to be manually opened. Uh, we do provide one garage remote. Um, but like I said, two car garage here. So we got the double doors there. This is gonna be the manual one as you can see. No motor. This is the automatic one here. So, uh, you know, you do have the ability to park two cars in here, which is very, very nice. Um, and you still have like lots of room over here for storage. Uh, one thing to mention, uh, the laundry area is kind of right here in the garage. So it's kind of tucked away. Um, uh, we have our dryer set up here on the right with our kind of vent outlet here and then our washer set up here. So let's go check out the back patio. Uh, so one thing to mention about the pack patio is that we do, there's a piece of broken glass that we are going to be replacing. Um, so for now, if you see it in the video, just kind of ignore it. Um, but here is the, the back patio area. As you can see, it's covered uh, nice and clean in here. Uh, we're actually gonna be replacing these doors as well. So it will be nice and closed in here. Um, the only thing, there's really no airflow. Uh, you can open these windows. They kind of open this way. Um, but for the most part, there's not too much airflow in here. So opening the windows would be a good idea. Um, but you really can do a lot out here because it is covered. So if you want to come out here and, uh, you know, say there's a storm going on, you could really take advantage of that. Let's go check out the rest of the backyard here. Um, it's actually a pretty good sized uh, backyard. Um, there's not really trees in the middle of the yard, but there is trees surrounding the yard on the uh Kind of perimeter here that do provide decent shade um, now during the middle of the day as you can kind of see here the sun does beat down in the middle of the yard but other than that um, very big yard decent amount of shade throughout the yard uh, mainly along the perimeters of the yard um, but as you can see it's actually very very big uh, we have a double gate here so if you have like a riding mower you do have the potential to uh, mow back here with that and then uh, on this side we have a little bit of side yard nothing too crazy but we also have a gate on this right side as well so double entry 
backyard here and just a very nice home here in North Richland Hills. So again, 5304 Roberta Drive, North Richland Hills, Texas, 76180. Three bedrooms, two bathrooms, a um, uh, little over 1,600 square feet. So good, good amount of room um, in a very central location. Very good school district here. Uh, Richland High School is a good uh, school district. You also have Birdville uh, and then HEB in the surrounding area. So hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and have a wonderful day. Thank you.